Hi. Hi. So, are we having fun yet? So much fun. Uh, what were we going to talk about? Camping. Waking the child up. Oh, it's time to wake her up. Yep. Because we got to get on the road. Yep. We got to head down the road. We're, go we're going to Pigeon Forge. Yes. I'm excited. Oh, that's. So in this video, we were headed from London, Kentucky and the Levi Jackson Wilderness Road Campground, which if you haven't seen that video, we'd appreciate you checking that out as well on our YouTube channel. Uh, we were headed from there to Pigeon Forge, Kentucky, where we were going to be staying at the Up the Creek RV Camp, and uh, we were going to be spending some about four days there. Do some of the local... Um, Christmas activities as well as visit the Smoky Mountains. Uh, we were going to visit uh, both uh, Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg area uh, as well as make it up to the National Park. Looking forward to that. Again, we were only going to have about four days. A lot of uh, packed activities in there. Up the Creek RV Park located in Pigeon Forge is the perfect destination if you are looking to explore the areas of Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, the Great Smoky Mountains, or anything in those surrounding areas. Uh, this is a uh, nice campground. It's well maintained. We found the staff to be very friendly. It is all uh, full hookup sites nestled between two creeks. Uh, I think that there is some risk of flooding there uh, if uh, the, there was a lot of heavy rain and also I think it could be a bit crowded in the summer uh, but uh, we found the facilities to be nice they have a small dog run area that's fenced off in the middle of the campground um, one thing I liked was that uh, our site I'm not sure they all do but there were two connections for sewer on our site I have gray valves on both the front and the rear of our rig and uh, this gave us an easy way to manage that so it was a great place to stay for a few days of exploring the area and so we'll leave the link below and if you are uh, visiting the uh, Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg area I'd certainly suggest you check them out. They have about four different uh, types of campsites here ranging from gravel pads and patio with back end to fully concrete paved sites uh, that have brick uh, fire pits or, or fireplaces at the site. Uh, this was not the cheapest place to stay we were here obviously near to Christmas uh, rates were about $50 a night and I noticed that in the the uh, fall which I'm sure is the peak season due to the fall colors and so on the right the rates ranged upward to around $70 for the the full uh, fully paved patio sites so as you drive the strip in either the Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg area you will not be disappointed if you're looking for shopping opportunities uh, this pretty much reminds me of a, of a beach town both of these strips uh, a lot of stores and restaurants, uh, candy shops were a big thing. We actually uh, did manage to sh do our share of shopping in the candy shops. We got some fudge and some taffy, uh, some, some nuts, a lot of <laughs> lot more candy and, and goodies than we probably should have had. Uh, another thing that the girls loved was the Incredible Christmas Shop, which uh, they spent a lot of time in. Uh, but but again, if you're you're into that that kind of touristy beach town feel, uh, both of these are a great destination. And of course, we had to get up to uh, Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge as well uh, during the night uh, to see the lights. And when we were in Gatlinburg, the girls spent some time out during the day uh, doing a good bit of uh, looking around, again, finalizing some Christmas shopping and getting their pictures taken with these uh, nice little snowman sculptures that they had uh, throughout uh, the city. Um, I think that uh, probably uh, we, we had as much fun Hunting these out as we did with some of the shopping. At least I know I did. So we're at uh, Reagan's, Stuck at Reagan's Pancake House. And the daughter just came back from the buffet. 
a buffet is something that I don't remember because it was before COVID, the coronavirus was the last time I went to a buffet. But apparently they have them here in the in the Disney Forge. How's breakfast? So while while uh, Joanne was out, she managed to find uh, this live plant. Um, it looks looks a lot like a small Christmas tree. So she brought it back, and the girls had a good time putting lights and, and decorations on it, and uh, basically setting it up uh, to give the the rig a little bit more sense of a, a Christmas feel. Um, this this also. The weather wasn't great every night, and as you can imagine, it was a little bit cold out. Uh, so this this gave us uh, something a little different to do. Um, I think probably I don't decorate the tree at home that much either. So I think I was probably watching a Christmas movie or something while the girls were finishing up the decorations of, of this little guy. Just up the road from Pigeon Forge in Sevierville is the Shadrach Christmas Wonderland light show. It goes on there apparently each year during Christmas time and uh, it was a pay uh, per car Christmas driving light show uh, it was about $30 a car a little pricey initially I thought but uh, it was well worth it I, I would certainly recommend it I uh, was pleasantly surprised by the light show there And we finally made it into the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is something that I had been looking to, forward to for a long time. Uh, we stopped at the uh, Visitor Center on our way in, uh, just uh, did a quick tour there. Uh, Joanne got her passport stamp, and then we were off to drive through the park. We only had one day in the park, so we, basically, we chose to go over towards uh, Cades Cove. Uh, I would like to visit again in the future and go towards North Carolina and Cherokee. Uh, but yeah, it, it is a beautiful, beautiful park. Uh, and I was amazed uh, and, and just really had a good time as we visited. So we are sitting just inside the entrance to the loop road for Cades Cove uh, in the Great Smoky Mountains. And we are going to, oh, I've got the book. What's the book? Cades Cove tour. It was $1, self-serve um, honor system. You just put a dollar in, take the book. And uh, so we're gonna go. It is the two weeks before Christmas, so it's doubtful we're gonna see any bears, but we're gonna explore. The Cades Cove Loop Road is about an 11 mile uh, one way loop road in part of the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to see a number of 18th and 19th century cabins, a working grist mill, uh, and uh, three churches. The three churches are this Primitive Baptist Church, a Methodist Church, as well as a uh, Missionary Baptist Church. Um, give yourself plenty of time. There's a lot of walking opportunities and, and touring in the area. Another thing that we did was we got a uh, an app called uh, Gypsy Tours uh, for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, which gives you a turn-by-turn -turn guide of the park as you drive along. Our next suggested stop is going to be another cabin. This time, the Elijah Oliver cabin. The app wasn't very expensive, and it gave us an opportunity to learn a lot of things that I don't think otherwise we would have. So I would certainly suggest it, and we'll leave a link below. While I don't have time to hit on everything that we saw in the Smokies, uh, suffice it to say that the, the views alone were spectacular, and I would certainly suggest that if you have never visited the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, you find time to do it. What did you think of the campground that we stayed at this this week, uh, the up the creek? Uh, I thought it was great. Uh, a really cute little covered wagon when you came in. I just was when we pulled in, I was excited just to stay because that was so cute. Um, we had privacy, of course. Again, we're in the middle of winter, but uh, I liked it. 
It was very convenient to Pigeon Forge to go downtown. I chose not to stand in line for Smoky Mountain Distillery Moonshine, uh, but there's Smoky Mo Mountain Moonshine as well as whiskey, both there on the strip, which was kind of neat. Now the place we ate in Gatlinburg. Yeah, do you remember the name of that restaurant? No. We'll have to look it up. So there we'll was- We'll put it in right here. So right, right here or down there? Somewhere. So Okay, we did the Dolly Parton Stampede also. Oh my goodness, how could I forget about that? I don't know. But for, for the Christmas show, um, they had a very cute Christmas story going with the narration that was going on, but then they had a live nativity where they had all the camels and, and sheep and everything um, came down from the ceiling. It was fantastic. Uh, they serve the meal during the um, show, and That's the food was actually very good. Smoky Mountain National Park. Oh yeah. We we finally made it there. I think we went through Cades Cove in the video, but I didn't hit a lot of what we saw. How long would you say it took us to drive through Cades Cove? Probably took us like three hours. Probably. That's what the church is for. Right. right. Oh, yeah, um, probably three hours. You can make it last longer. We didn't get out to see several things. We definitely want to go back. Uh, the next time I'd like to go over towards North Carolina. Uh, someone had told us that the on the North Carolina border over in that area uh, is where you can start to see elk again now. We have an elk herd that has been reintroduced in the area there, and you see a lot of those. So overall, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, the National Park and the campground. How do we do? Um, I would say Cider would give it four out of five barks. So we would appreciate it if you enjoyed the video, if you would like it um, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, we will have a video coming out every couple of weeks. Um, our next video, if you if you enjoyed this one, uh, in a couple of weeks you're going to see our trip to. Mammoth Cave, uh, Mammoth Cave in Kentucky, and then we'll see what we get into after that. But uh, And I will have the link to the Instagram account down below. Yep, Instagram and Facebook, mm -hmm. we have those up. Uh, so we are a new channel, obviously, but again, we would appreciate your support. And if you are, enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.